Hi everybody! Welcome to a very special episode because today we have a guest star, Natasha. Hi everyone! Hey Natasha! She is the violist of our group and today we're going to go to Greece with her. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell. We're super excited. We're going to watch the episode together and we're going to share all of our thoughts with you. Corfu that we have to walk in for quite a long distance from the port to the city because in between there there's only one bus service. Yes, and it was really hot. <laughs> okay, so now we are here at the archaeological site of ancient Olympia and you got it, it's a <laughs> UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is where the first Olympic Games were held and they were continued to be held here every four years, just like it is now from 776 BC to 393 AD. And during those times, the competitions weren't just held to celebrate the amazing athleticism of these human athletes, but they were also to honor the Greek gods, in particular, Zeus. Thalias were influenced by the Greek alphabet that they found over there, so they adopted some letters, like the C, the L, the F. Originally, they were Greek letters that now are not used anymore. We, we're using different arrangement, different writing of that, but originally they were Greek. So this is still Greek, we can still uh, read it uh, easily. There was a statue of a Nike. Remember I told you it did it with wings. So originally there was a statue of Nike. Up there there was an offering of uh, two cities where they defeated the Spartans. These things are thousands of years old and they're still so well preserved. Or oh, what's left of it. They still have a ruin of the um, gymnasium from back then and where they did the first race. And we got to run on it and um, took some pictures pretending like we had participated in the games ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to go to the gym that day. This is one of the most crowded tourist places probably on this planet Earth. When I was there that day, which is a little bit later than this, when we just climbed onto the top of this place, a huge storm uh, formed in the city and just rushed towards us. And all of the tourists, including us, have to rush to an underground bathroom to hide from the rain, which was really fun. That was like the hardest rain I might have ever seen in my life. The ancient Greeks believed that the 
a dead souls that they would take the form of a butterfly. The snake was one of the symbols of Athena, but it is related to the underworld as well. Whenever you see a snake, it's related to the land of the dead. The Acropolis looks so small. <laughs> we need a zoom. Hey kitty. Hi. We also saw uh, the darkness during the day. Uh, babies dying in Egypt. Uh, But I was so stressed that whole time because the wind was really heavy and even though I was wearing a pretty um, long, like, heavy dress, the wind just didn't care. For myself as well, I remember walking with Chella and we had to change directions because I was like, my dress won't stay down, we have to change, we have to go somewhere else. So our trip advisor to this location is don't wear a dress. <laughs> yeah, but people will because they got to get their Instagram shots. Thank <laughs> you.